Hello, Marky Dragon, also known as Marcus Eikenberry in real life, and uh, this is the Mega Cheetah scanning machine. Yeah, it's really good. 181 uh, scanning on the core probes power in this configuration. I'm going to show it to you here. So the base strength, 180, 181 there. So we're going to do a couple things here. I'm going to show you the fit, explain it a little bit, and then I'm going to show you its scanning ability. Scanning ability takes a little bit longer to show, so we'll put that at the end of the video here. All right, so I am in wormhole space. I just jumped in here. This is uh, Cheetah Mimitar. It's kind of what it looks like. It's uh, kind of an ugly ship, but it's very functional. Okay, we're going to cloak back up again. Dangerous space out here, you know. And uh, the fit here is not very tanky. This is all built around being able to get the highest scan power possible. And there's very good reason for that. You, you want to be able to scan quickly and efficiently because scanning for stuff, in my opinion, sucks. Takes a lot of time. I don't enjoy it. But... I need to do it for a lot of different things. So, I built this. All right. Uh, basically, in the Cheetah, it is Tech 2, uh, Tech 2 scanning or exploration frigate. It can fly cloaked, and then it can fit a, uh, a launcher that is, uh, let's see, which launcher is this? That's charge info. All right. So, this is the uh, Sisters Expanded Probe Launcher. Uh, the expanded can do both core and combat, and so this also has the highest, some of the highest scan strength for combat as well. Now I am running, uh, I am running actually here sisters core probes. There is one type of probe that has a higher scan strength than it's the RSS core probes, but they're really expensive. You're looking at over 300 million for a set of them. And this ship right here, it says 84 million where I'm at. It says 79 million other places. Um, but it is, um, it's not very costly. Where the big cost comes in is having the skills to run this, which, by the way, if you have lower skills and you want to run this, you can still do an excellent job of it. It's just you'll need to uh, change all of these, like the scan pinpointing array uh, and the scan range finding array, to uh, tech one instead of tech two. And that is kind of your workaround to uh, be able to do that. And I wonder, can alphas fly this? I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, now the, the scanning ability on this is massive. And part of that is due to the implants that I have. Uh, now I have all of the necessary items for scanning I actually don't go doing the relic and data sites, which is archaeology and hacking with this character. Uh, she is really just all about the navigation. And so, but, so you need all of these to level five, and then you can do this fit. Then you also have some implants. And the implants needed here are the virtue implants. I have the mid-grade virtue implants and I believe mid-grade is the highest level that you can get. Uh, I don't think that there is a higher level than the mid-grade virtue. Is there a high-grade virtue? If there is, then why am I not running it? They were probably too expensive. Nope, there is no high-grade virtue. There is only mid-grade and low-grade. So, all right. Uh, they are very expensive. And uh, this is where all of the money is. Uh, you're looking well over a billion to put all of these in. but And you need to put the whole thing in, all of these, uh, as a set. Because you need to get the mid-grade Virtue Omega in, which buffs all the rest of these, which gives you this massive uh, scanning ability. All right, so let's uh, bring up the map here. And we've got uh, a few items here. So I'm going to launch probes. I have to decloak to launch probes. And launch them out here. And then cloak up again. And a lot of times, I can just scan right where I launch them. 
uh, at uh, 4 AU, many times I can hit on my uh, wormhole that I just came in on and get that one out of the way on results. Uh, so there it is right there. Now, 4 AU is an okay amount, but now I can skip down to two and I should resolve this in one shot. Well, second shot, you know what I mean. All right, so there's that one. This is my, uh, the one that I came through, my origin. Uh, I, already, I already bookmarked it and everything. So let's take a look at some of these others here. And so this is probably an 8AU scan that I'm gonna need to do. And so let's see here. Yeah, 8AU to get that fully covered. We're gonna analyze that. And then once we've got it, we're gonna pop down. We're not gonna to go to four. We're gonna go all the way down to two because this configuration is strong enough to do that in 90% of the cases. All right, so it uh, resolved on that. Too bad it's not a wormhole. I've been looking for wormholes. But we're gonna go down to, to two. It's right on it and it should resolve that. Anything that is a red dot, 90% of the time, you can scan at 2AU and resolve it. This would be considered a red dot. So just go just like that, 2AU. Make sure I'm right on it. And it should scan that down. Done. Okay, so here's another one. Looks like there's a lot of gas in here. Gas sites tend to be a little bit easier. Wormholes tend to be a little bit easier. All right, 2AU. We'll get that one. And then, unfortunately, for this, there are some other tricks where you can do it at like 4AU to, to get that on, on first scan, but it's not the easiest in the world to do that. So, we're going to have to go all the way out to 8 here because there's a chance that we'll just miss it if we're not scanning out far enough. That one was actually pretty close. We might have been able to hit that one on a 2AU. But, there we go. We take it down to 2AU. Make sure I'm centered on it. I am. You see how quick this is going? This is, this is going quite quickly, which is very nice. It's the beautiful thing about this ship. Some drawbacks. All right, so we got it almost all the way. I have to go just a little bit more. All right. The drawbacks of this fit is that we, you don't have very much EHP. It's not a very tanky ship. And so if you encounter something that can grab you, which um, the, the alignment is just above three seconds on this. And so if you encounter something that, that can grab you uh, on the other side of a wormhole, you're probably toast. Um, it won't take many hits to take you out. But the, sh the ship is cheap. The implants are not. Hopefully you can get away with your pod. So, all right. Now, this looks like th this is the last item to scan down here. And I should go from eight to two. About a 90% chance that it's gonna work. That I'm gonna be able to actually hit this on this. And uh, yeah, life is good. Oh, almost, look at that, it's like, it's 98.6. That could have been that I just wasn't on it close enough. So there we go, that'll finish it off. And entire wormhole scanned down in a matter of just a couple of minutes. So anyway, this is, uh, this is by far one of my favorite scanning ships how it's set up, uh, and it's very powerful with uh, the combat probes, 
this one can scan down with the implants it can scan down the poor man's cloak which is another fit that I have on EWB and it is where you're running like uh, three of the signature reducers I forget what they're called and um, to make your signature super small this right here can scan those down uh, so all right hope you enjoyed that uh, upvote this fit on EWB if you like it and um, that's it fly safe see you out there in wormhole space